Hey guys, so um, just wanted to show you the finalized version of the Barrage uh, transmission. Uh, went ahead and designed the cover for it. Uh, seems kind of big, but it's because I wanted to fit in the whole range of uh, pinion sizes. Uh, you can go with this cover as big as the 25 tooth um, pinion. So that's for higher speeds. Um, still don't have the small pinions they haven't arrived but i'm going to show you how close that shaft is to the actual spur i believe i can even go with the 12 tooth um pinion size but i haven't tested it so i'm not going to say that yet but from the distance that i have from the shaft to the spur it seems like i can get away with putting the 12 tooth um definitely the 15th that's coming is going to fit there no problem but um this is what the transmission will look like um of course this is printed on um uh resin so you know it's got that clear look to it but um it's got room for the shaft i had to make that little indentation there right there so that the shaft would actually be able to spin through because i brought the spur as low as i possibly could and then you know that brought this case down <laughs> this cover so the shaft does fit in there and it spins you know no problem um, the motor right now I have it set to the closest uh, to the case as I possibly can as you can see uh, I went ahead and designed two different um, supports for the motor plate itself as you can see right there and here so there's not gonna be any you know moving back and forth and then on top of that you have the cover which is going to provide also support for that that motor is not going anywhere then you have the back plate that's going to take care of all three um, gears in there and of course you have the shaft coming out the back um, the stock mounting hardware is used stock gears are used uh, the tiny one is uh, removed and um, everything's going to be covered and protected uh, like I said, this is a uh, resin, so it's not going to be the same as what you would order from uh, Shapeways, but it'll give you an idea. Um, I don't know what to, else to say. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to take that off. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off. Try to make sure to design this to where everything you use is stock with your barrage. So, you should be able to use everything that comes with your barrage and, and get it to work. Come on now. So this comes off. That's um, what it looks like inside. Alright, you got that. Put that there. And then, as you can see that the shaft is extremely close to the spur so a really small pinion can go in there i'm guessing i could put the 12 tooth but you know just to be on the safe side we'll say 13 but i think i can go away with the 12. if you bring the motor all the way out to the final spot uh that's where the 25 tooth uh, pinion fits in that's where i had it uh when i was testing with this pinion it was at that further in right here so that's what i measured it for so that pinion will be right there um now if you guys wanted to go with a bigger pinion you could kind of you know dremel your way in to this side on all of those spots and maybe put a bigger pinion but if you do that then that motor is going to be sticking out of this and the reason i made it stop at this point is because i wanted to match the actual um distance from the the chassis itself so you know in making this i wanted to make it the same size as the stock piece so that it you know would look stock and nobody be able to tell the difference other than the fact that you have this huge motor in there so um you know kind of kind of in keeping the whole you know look for the car i don't want it to look all crazy so everything here fits inside of the original placement and it doesn't stick out even with the motor at the highest level it will stick to the same distance as the chassis as you can see so it's gonna look real stock real nice 
And, you know, if nobody really looks closely at it, they, they won't be able to tell that this is not what comes with the vehicle. Um, pretty much that's it. I mean, I, I try to cover all the bases, you know, from the feedback that I was getting from the comments uh, on the previous videos and pictures. Uh, I was asked to bring down the motor a little bit, so I did. Uh, I brought it down as far down as humanly possible. Like I said, if I went down any lower, uh, this would have not been a possibility because I would have had to put a big notch in there where it would be open and then, you know, it wouldn't be fully protected. And I kind of wanted to make sure that that was fully protected. So I just left it up to there. Um, the difference between the shaft, uh, the drive shaft and, and this piece here is like a millimeter in some, you know, it's, it's extremely small, just enough to get this to fit in there. And the motor itself, like I said, only goes up to this side. Uh, some people commented that if I twist it this way, it will work, but it really wouldn't because this motor can would be tilted and then that end right there will be sticking out. So the best way to put it so it will fit perfectly is, you know, just straight like this. So that is the lowest you can go when using stock gears. And that is the best I can come up with. Um, I wanted to bring it lower to where this gear right here will mesh with this one. But there's not enough room to do that. That is too small. And so is this one. Um, if this gear was bigger, then that would have been a possibility, but it's not big enough. So we needed this one in the middle to be able to make that connection. Um, pretty much it, that's it. That is the whole thing. Uh, I've been playing around with the design and how to print it and all of that. And I believe I will be able to post this in Shapeways for $15. Um, that makes it the cheapest uh, alternative to anything else out there. Uh, you could get the CR24 um, gearbox and I believe it's like 20 or 20 some dollars to get their gearbox, but then yes, you get the reduction on it, but you don't get the ability to put the, the 180 or 130 size uh, motor in it. And you don't get the adjustability. If um, Even if I'm able to only go with the 15 tooth with I doubt that that'll be the smallest. I really seriously think I can go up to 12. But let's say that the smallest one is 15. You got the adjustability from 15 to 25 teeth on your pinion. That is a huge improvement when it comes to, you know, being able to go from crawling to moving faster. So I believe that is a upgrade, of course. And then you also have the ability to get different turn motors. So you can get, you know... Really fast motors, really slow motors. So that's also going to affect how fast the vehicle is going to go. So that's another uh, place for adjustability. So that you don't get with the CR24 gearbox or even the RC uh, four-wheel drive. And those two, again, they, they use that smaller can motor, which is already proven not to be strong enough to be able to do both crawl and go fast. With this setup, you'll be able to crawl and you can go fast and it's not gonna overheat and it's just it just works man so like i said i'm trying my best I, I i think i can make it for 15 so i'm gonna try and put that all all of it together post it and um if anybody wants it just check it out on my um uh shapewaves um store just look up gammy rc it'll be there anyways uh thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll keep going